All of the group 1 elements, with the exception of hydrogen, are known as the alkali metals. The alkali metals are a longtime favorite of high school chemistry teachers and students because of the alkali's energetic reaction to water. Let's take a look at a water molecule. As you can see, hydrogen is already bonded to the oxygen. Lithium, which has the same amount of outer shell electrons, could bond with oxygen in the same way. So, lithium forces hydrogen out of the water molecule because it has a lower electronegativity. Lithium becomes lithium hydroxide, and all of the hydrogen atoms forced off of their water molecules bond together, forming H2. This same reaction occurs more dramatically with sodium, and even more dramatically with potassium. So obviously, the reaction gets more and more energetic as the atomic number increases, meaning that I would be the most reactive alkali. The emperor of the alkali metals, you could say. Well, it's not that simple, cesium. The reactivity of an alkali does increase as they go up in atomic number, but the amount of energy released actually decreases. Visually, the reaction is more dramatic not because there is more energy released, but because it is released faster. Also, consider that because a cesium atom is larger, a 1 gram sample of cesium will have fewer atoms with which to react than a 1 gram sample of lithium. Don't correct me, and don't interrupt me! Hey, calm down, there's no need to blow your top. I am the emperor of the alkalis! I am! I am! I am!